So hello friends, welcome to my channel and my coaching center. So today I'm going to explain you what that is the 12th standard English third poem that is on children. This is written by Kahil Kipram. So a woman who held a babe against her bosom said, Speak to us of children. So a woman who held a babe against her bosom you held she speaks to speak to us of children so she speak to the children and he said your children are not your children and she said to her that your children are not your children they are the sons and daughters of life longing for itself so they are sons and daughters of life longing itself the word Janana. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. So they, they are with you, the, but are with you, but they do not belong to you. You may give them your love, but not your thoughts. So you may give them your love, but their thoughts may be different. So for they have their own thoughts. So the birds may have their own thoughts. The another bird says, you may house their bodies, but not their souls. So you may house their bodies but not their souls you may protect for their souls when in in the house of tomorrow which you cannot visit not even in your day so their souls are like house of tomorrow the which where you cannot visit in your, your dream also you cannot visit to their houses and you may strive to be like them so you may strive to be like them but seek not to make them like you so you can become like them but you cannot become they cannot become like you for life goes not backward not tarry tarries with yesterday so the life does not go backward it not comes yesterday again so you are the ghost from which your children as living arrows are sent forth so you are like a bow from which an arrow the children say are like arrow that comes out and the archer sees the mark upon the path of the infinite so archer see the mark where is the mark like a board of the archer and he bends you with the his might and that his arrow may go swift and far so he may buy, uh, bend you or take you uh, take the up up or down he may make so that the arrow may go it in a like a swing let you bending in the archer's hand be for so he loves also the bow that is stable so as he loves the arrows that are flying and also even he loves the uh, bow that is stable that is like a stable bow so this is written by kahil gibram so okay friends i think you understand this chapter the on children so okay friends like you to comment on your subscribe channel and put it in the comment below i will just manage to explain all the chapter 10 then take care have a nice day bye my friends